What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm doing pretty good. Today, we're taking a look at this. This is a portable, it says cordless, it's obviously a cord um, soldering station. This is from Parkside, it plugs into the Parkside battery system, the 20 volt system. Um, I have a couple of those batteries because I've got a impact driver and I've got an impact wrench so I've got a 2 amp hour battery and a 4 amp hour battery. We're going to test the 4 amp hour because that's what I've got with me. Um, I'm sure this will work with the 2 amp hour battery just as well, just not as long. This was £12.99 so it's pretty cheap but if you need to buy the battery and the charger you're probably looking around the £40 to £50 mark because they're quite expensive but I've already got them so this was nice and cheap if you've already got the battery and the charger this might be a good option for you so let's get over to the workbench we'll unbox this we'll see what's in there and uh, we'll give it a quick test see if it's any good all right here we go so this is the box it looks like somebody's already started to peel this back but I don't think they actually have because the rest of it looks intact so I'm just gonna take my knife like that Nice thing as well, you get three years warranty on all these things, so it's all good. So in the box, set of instructions. Again, uh, these are all always in different languages. English is at the front. Got a, a little diagram of what's in there, what you get, so it just seems to be pretty straightforward. I don't think we need that. Get a little packet of solder. Maybe. Yeah, so you got this two different types of solder. Is that solder? Yeah, it's solder. It's not spring. It's not springing back. So you got a really thin core, wide core, a flat blade for solder iron, tiniest sponge which would go in that bit. And it uh, looks like you just click that in and that's in place so assembly doesn't need any tools there we go pretty basic nicely packaged there's no plastic on here your extra bits came in a cardboard bag which is great uh, and a cardboard box so really good packaging this just clicks into there I'm assuming that's tight can't go that way, it's got to go that way. There is a little channel. It doesn't look like the channel's on that side. But it is there. Hmm. Maybe I'm just... It's interesting, isn't it? It's got to go in there. There's <laughs> no other way. Oh, it does go that way. Okay. That's interesting. The spring goes down, which I'd have assumed your tip goes in that way, but it's too big, yeah. Makes sense now that it goes that way and just sits nicely in that rubber groove. Okay. Still very tight fit but we managed so you saw the line goes in there that's a very tight fit that's not falling out on its own at all which is good uh, the only issue then is if you're tempted to turn this because that's going to remove that whole section this is your heater core so that's going to heat inside there so just be careful with that that being so tight just go straight in and out don't turn it if this gets loose then uh, it's not going to work that well tightened it up fully i'm going to pull the battery out we'll connect it to the battery and then uh, we'll see how it does okay so the battery will just slide straight onto the wrong side so it goes on the side from the wire so slide the battery on Click, it's on, done. So this is how it looks. 
it's not too big and chunky. That size of my hand, really. Uh, it's not heavy at all. Oh, I've turned it on by accident. Uh, it's not heavy at all, so that's good. I've wet the sponge a little bit, so there we go. So I'm actually going to get a piece of scrap wood under here, just in case. Let's undo this cable. We'll see how flexible this wire is as well. Because one of the annoying things about having a solder iron with a wire on it is if this wire is too stiff, you can't work. You're trying to work and the wire's pulling you the other direction. So that's actually quite nice. You, it's, there's a nice grip there and it doesn't feel like this wire's trying to pull me anywhere. So that's good. I'm happy with that. When this is plugged in, that light's going to be flashing. So let's take the battery out. Put the battery back in. So as soon as you touch that power button, the only way to turn that light off is to set the battery off. If it's flashing quickly, it's heating up. If it's flashing slowly, it's cooling down. So it says in the instructions to let us cool down 10 minutes before um, taking the battery off and stuff. Just leave it stood 10 minutes to cool down. Um, and it's supposed to take 30 seconds to warm up. So let's see. So let's turn it on. So it's flashing rapidly, so that's in the heat up stage. This says 30 seconds to heat up, so we are at 10 seconds in the filming. So let's leave that till 40 and we'll see if it actually is hot at that time. And there we go, it's just gone green, and that was quicker than 30 seconds actually, so that's good. Once it's green, it's ready to go. You do get a little bit of information here, I'll try and show you that without burning anything so on the left you've got the rapid red dots the middle green is ready to go and on the right cooling down is the spaced out red dots uh, does seem hot it does seem pre-tinned by the looks of the tip so let's just have a quick look of this uh, one millimeter solder we'll pull a little bit of that out and we'll just do it over this surface here. And that melts absolutely instantly and it sticks. Which is what I've not been getting from all the other solder irons. So I think we're on to a winner here. So that's good. Let's try the thicker solder. Because if this works just as well. This is all lead free. Um, so I've not got a fan here at the minute. But the window above where the camera is just above here is open. Um, and it's lead free anyway so it's not as bad and again that is instant instantaneous meltage good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head to my workshop I'm going to collect my gear so I'm going to get some wires I've got some helping hands so I don't have to hold the wires and stuff and we're going to try and do a little bit of soldering to see if it tins wires well see if it works well with the uh, the neon light strips and stuff like that because that's basically what I need this for. But so far, I'm quite happy. It looks kind of cool. I do like the way it looks. So let's try and cool this down. Um, it says it takes 10 minutes, and that's going to keep flashing. So, uh, I don't know. Let's see, see in 10 minutes if I can touch it, if it's cold, and I can just take the battery off. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. That light's still flashing. Uh, yeah, that's nice and cold. That's good. Um, that needed tightening up a little bit, but that's fine. So, yeah, good. All in all, quite happy with that so far. Um, I'm going to take the battery off so it doesn't drain the battery while I'm not here. Uh, I'm going to go do a few bits and pieces today. We're going to get some wires and stuff from the workshop, and we're going to come back and give this a test, which will be pretty much instantly for you guys so I will see you guys in just a second we'll give this a proper test and conclude from there right guys so I've got some of my LED neon strip so we're going to peel a bit of this back and we're going to see if I can tin the LED strip there so it's just finished heating up so let's strip this back all I do is take a sharp knife I cut down that edge at the bottom and I peel this back. So this is how 
I do the neon signs. Oh, I've actually got that where it's already pre-tinned. So that's no good, is it? Let me try the other side. Okay, that side isn't pre-tinned. So let's try this. With these, where the little black lines are, that's where you should cut. And then you can peel the front back and reveal the copper. So I've also got some helping hands I'll bring in now. So what I did was I peeled this back quite far to be able to fold this one out. I could get it in the helping hands and then I kind of had a bit like I could go like this. Uh, this is the solder that came with the iron. I'm going to use the solder that I ordered. Sorry for the fireworks, there's a firework display going on. Um, I think it's actually at the Pleasure Beach, I'm near Blackpool Pleasure Beach, where I live. So, again, this tins up really nicely. Let's see if we can get on there. That might be a bit much to go on there. There we go. That's nice, actually. That's gone quite nicely, actually. Quite impressed. I need to wet my sponge. So that's gone pretty nicely onto there. Let's see if that's held on there. And it has, that's held okay. And it's not really marked to the back. So this was the difficulty I was having was tinning these points. Now I should be able to attach the, uh, the plus and negative from the driver. Try and remember which way round these were. So on my setup, the plus has the stripes and the negative doesn't. So the plus is this side and the negative is that side. These are already pre-tinned from me playing around with the neon sign. So let's see. That looks good. That's not quite as good. My wiggly hand ruins that. There we go, I think that is pretty good. Yeah, that's good, that's good. They're pretty strong connections, so I'm gonna turn this on. There we go. This is now lit up and connected. That beat was my laser turning on because it's plugged into that extension lead that powers everything. So yeah, this is on. Um, that was quite nice. Nice and easy. It melts the solder really well. So to remove this, you can just melt the solder and pull it off. Like so. Just instantly. Like that's brilliant really happy with that that's going to make everything so much easier the fact that the solder melts so quickly and i can get a clean joint on there that's going to help me finish this neon sign so yeah really happy all right guys so what do we think of this little parkside um portable cordless solder iron i think it's really good um I've been playing with it a fair bit. My son had a go. He's never soldered before and he managed to make the connections to the LED strip lights, which I was struggling with, so that's good news. The only issue I have with this is where the sponge goes, which is just on this metal plate here. It just sits on top. It doesn't hold in that well. And when the sponge is wet, all of the water comes down here onto your power button and starts dripping onto the top of the battery as well, which 
I think is a bit of a design issue. I'm probably not going to use this sponge on here anyway. I've got my own solder cleaner. It's like a little ball of copper wool. And uh, you just stick the end of the solder iron in there. I didn't bring that with me because I didn't want to bring all of my stuff from the workshop back here. But it works really, really well. I like how portable it is. This is really light. It probably weighs about 500 grams, half kilo at the most. Like It's quite comfortable. If you're working on a vehicle or something like that, you can just sit this down somewhere. You've got one and a half meters of wire, like goes almost as far as I can stretch out, which is brilliant. Um, plenty of scope to go. The wire is really flexible as well, so when you're using it, it doesn't try and pull you to one side, which cheap solder irons do. It's really annoying. Um, overall, really, really happy that I found this. It was, as I said, $12.99. Without the battery, if you've got your own battery, then you just stick that on here. I don't know how stable it's going to be with a 2 amp hour battery. I'm probably just going to use it with a 4 because it's a bit bigger. It's about twice the height. Um, I imagine it'll still be okay. This nozzle bit here doesn't sit too far down because even without the battery, this could sit on a surface and this still doesn't touch. It's a brilliant guard. You can't get anywhere near the nozzle unless you're coming up through the inside, which is... Just a silly thing to do. Heats up very quickly, cools down pretty quickly, about 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, all in all, very, very, very happy. Um, if you want to pick one up for yourself, let me know down below what you think of it. Uh, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.